Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a Protoss versus Terran here on Cloud Kingdom to start us off with into the best of threes of the ESET UK Masters. And it looks like I have the colors inverted as opposed to the stream. And no, because Nick's changed them at exactly the same time, so I'm going to swap mine back. All right, everything should be okay now. Spawning in the bottom left position, ladies and gentlemen, sponsored by the Republic of Gaming. A very, very strong showing recently in the Too Good Invitational. Can he represent that performance here? We have Elfie. And his opponent spawning in the top right position, representing FX Open Gaming Team. One of the strongest Terrans in Europe. Maybe not exactly stomping every tournament he's beaten in, but every single player of his caliber has a breakout tournament. Will this end up being his? We'll find out in just a moment, guys. It is Strelok. <clears throat> So if I had to pick, I don't like picking favorites, especially in matchups that I really enjoy. I think TVP is absolutely uh, so much fun. I'm a Terran player myself, so TVP is great fun for me until I have to do a lot of Ghost Micro against High Templar. And then I usually end up raging, and I usually end up raging a lot. But that's me, and that, that's not Strelok, so let's not talk about that at this moment in time. It's going to be pretty interesting to see which one of these guys comes out on top here. Uh, we could potentially see a one rack expand come out of Strelok if he wasn't taking that gas. So he's actually opened up gas into... Uh, sorry, a barracks into gas at a fairly normal timing here by the looks of things. Just going to double check to make sure it wasn't a gas first build. No, it's only just started mining. So a fairly normal build coming out from Strelok and the... The advantage, basically, Elfie's now scouted in with the probe, and Elfie's going to be going, right, I know this isn't a one rex gasless expand, because he's taken his gas. But at the same time, taking one gas can more or less transition into anything early game. The only thing that Elfie knows that's absolutely guaranteed at this moment in time is he escapes with that probe still, with uh, all his hit points intact, so cool stuff there coming out from him. The only thing Elfie knows for sure at this moment in time is that Strelok's expansion is slightly delayed compared to normal, but he's going to have faster tech as well. So it's not... Uh, it, basically, it's still a little bit of a mystery. He just knows that Strelok is playing super greedy, and we do in fact see a very, very fast factory go down and we even have a, a reactor go down on the uh, barracks. So it looks like... Oh, wow, and a second gas being taken as well. I know what this is, ladies and gentlemen. I suspect this is going to be an interesting strategy from Strelok. And for those of you in chat who have already guessed it, it's a pretty good one. It is, uh, in fact, the 1-1-1. One, one, one. That's what I have my money on at this point in the game. Uh, so... Because we don't really have anything else coming down for Elfie at the moment, and it looks like he's actually going to be expanding, which could potentially be disaster. No! We're going to be proxying a robotics facility! So this is going to be a Warp Prism 4-gate, by the looks of things, going up against a 1-1-1. This is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, I, I'm really fearing for Strelok here if this 4-gate just hits him. Where it hurts, man, this could be really tough. And no, it's not a 1-1-1, because the factory's moved on to the reactor, so pardon me. All sorts of stuff going down here. Usually when you see the second gas and you see the reactor go on the barracks, it's to make a lot of marines. You see an immediately tech lab go down on the factory for those tanks, an immediate tech lab on the starboard as well for those banshees. But in this particular instance, it looks like... We're seeing a bit of a hybrid between a 111 and a Marine Hellion drop because we're actually getting a tech lab on the starport, which implies Banshee. So it's going to be Hellion, Banshee, Marine, which is maybe a combination we're seeing a little bit less of. I wonder how much it's going to work, though, because a War Prism is already on the way for Elfie. And Strelok has not scouted Elfie's half of the map again. He's moving it across the map with a bunch of Hellions, but the War Prism is three quarters of the way done. Uh, so this isn't a 1-1-1 popping out from and oh my god, Star Sense, Star Sense, and Star Sense, ladies and gentlemen, and he sees the proxied robotics facility, and he's going, oh lordy lordy, he needs to be very careful right now, moving all of his units back home, but is it frankly going to be enough? We see a tech lab now going down on that factory, getting cloaked for Banshee, which I like as a decision, because we frankly don't have any detection here, and we have got 
Oh, wow. Every single SCV being pulled here to try and deal with this right now. The Banshee is out, but can't actually attack the Warp Prison. Only the Marine can do that. And yes, we have a Warp incoming, so he is just going to be honey badgering it up. Elfie is going for this anyway. SCVs versus Zealots is not the kind of fight you want to be targeting here. Good micro with the Warp Prism. Trying to pick up those Hurt Stalkers and moving them back down again. Elfie waiting for another round of warp ins has actually uh, blocked himself off with three pylons in his main base as well. So that any counterattacks with Helens are not going to be effective. And Elfie is going to really go aggressive with this. Uh, an Observer popping in as well just to make sure in case uh, we use more of that cloak on the Banshees. And indeed we are about to. But once that Observer comes out here, I think Strelok is pretty much dead, guys. Uh, he has gone back into the tech lab on the factory, tech lab on the scarport, and reactor on the barracks. A 1 1 1 style composition going on there. But I just don't think it's necessarily going to be enough. It's 22 workers to 8 at the moment, and Strelok looks like he's on his last legs. He will be able to hold this off. But so many workers have been killed this game 19 to 0 so far. And with the observer out on the field now as well, it's going to be too much. GG! And Elfie, ladies and gentlemen, takes game number 1.